Hello guys, uh, so today I'm coming back with another uh, video on Amazon PPC. You know, you might have uh, echoes spiking up, going out of control, you know, just wrecking havoc on your profit margin. And I want to basically talk about this concept, explain the underlying causes, right? Or like what might be the problems that you can't achieve actually target echoes goal for your Amazon business. So uh, let's get right into the video. Yeah, so the first problem that you might be facing, which is the cause of bad performance, right, uh, leading to high echoes, is the fact that uh, you are not competitive based uh, on category average conversion rate. So you are not competitive to the market because you have like very low conversion rate and that's not effective for you to like keep pouring more money into advertising right because you are basically not profitable uh, most likely since you are not uh, you can't like compete with your competitors right you can't keep up with the competition because you have lower conversion rates right uh, so let's now uh, actually go and check if you are facing this issue the, the thing that you can do is go to actually click on the drop down menu and then go to brand metrics and what this tab is going to show you so just pick the category uh, that is relevant to your uh, specific products all right so i'll just choose cocoa uh, let's do hot chocolate and cocoa and then you just you know click on continue okay and this is uh, and it's going to pull up uh, the stats right all the data so click on view detail metric okay and then you can choose select the the last week right or you can even look at the month time range but let's do the past week because that's going to give us the most recent data and the most reliable one that, that we can base our decisions off of right all right and you uh, click save now we need to really bring attention to these numbers so it's going to show you uh what is the conversion rate so right here you can see our conversion rate for our brand is 2.22% while our category median and I think okay so in this case we are not advertising and the, and the data is skewed so let me go to like when we were uh, running ads because like this brand is uh, currently out of stock so you know the data is not really uh, significant so yeah let's choose uh, the time range let's say for the past month okay and now you can see like or well, it's going to show you basically the conversion rate uh, for your brand and then uh, the category median so why this matters right uh, why it's important to you if your conversion rate is lower than the category median if I hover over this explanation mark it says the performance of the 50th uh, percentile of brands in the selected category so that means 50% uh, of brands all of those brands combined they have an average of 29.35% uh, conversion rate so if I'm not even reaching this number meaning that I am uh, I'm converting less than my competition it's just terrible because I will not be able guys to keep spending more money because uh, no matter how much money I spend it's probably not going to be profitable or like it's going to be maybe barely profitable but the thing is that I'm not tapping into this full uh, potential of advertising by, you know, keeping my conversion rate low and, you know, not reaching the maximum efficiency. So that's like the first problem, right? You might be basically advertising at a low conversion rate. So you're not competitive. Uh, there are a lot of things to do uh, to fix this issue. What you can do is you go to your Amazon listing. So I'll just go to my you know one of my client accounts yeah so let's say i pulled up my listing i'll pretend that this is my listing and yeah what you can do right away is start analyzing and looking at your listing you want to try to figure out what you can improve upon so in this case i see okay the title is pretty good it's well detailed right you want to make sure that you have at least uh, you have uh, around 200 characters for your title so you want to max this out as much as possible and like sprinkle in the most important keywords that describe your product right now i see that the images this like listing lacks in 
the images part right it's just horrible because we don't have the images so it's really compromised from the image perspective as you can see we have only one image and these other ones they don't really give any more information or context about the product to the customer so what you can do is go in and basically you know swap these images uh, you want to create a bundle of images a combination of images which is comprised of one hero image uh, right and actually this main image can be improved quite a lot as you can see uh, there's only one bag shown while we are selling a pack of free right like free packs of, of this uh, hot chocolate powder so what what you want to do is you know really double down like try to come up with the best uh, main image uh, with like the best main image right so that's the first thing so uh, a combination of those images are one hero image. We got two to three infographics, right? That actually explain the main benefits and features of our product. And then we got as well uh, two or three uh, lifestyle shots. So lifestyle shots are just, you know, uh, your product being used in a applicable environment. So if I'm drinking coffee, uh, you know, if I'm selling a hot chocolate i want to show this product maybe uh, on the table right or a person smiling while drinking you know sipping on a uh, on a cup of uh, hot chocolate so that's like the idea here and you can also add the comparison chart there's a lot of things that you can do uh, and you need to test that right another thing is if you have your bullet points if they are short or they are not well written you know they are they don't trigger a customer's emotions you want to change that basically change your bullet points that's going to give you a boost in conversion rate or help you slightly improve the conversion rate as well right and as you keep scrolling down the page you'll see that there is a plus content um, and this a plus content is not very enticing it's very bland it's dull and boring the images are like the colors are faded and it's not like even detailed right so you don't want to put a lot of text a bunch of text right you want to minimize the amount of text that goes on to a plus content uh, and uh, really emphasize the main benefits of your product through the imagery through the aesthetics right and you can actually add i think seven modules up to seven modules for a plus content right so yeah and this for example brand uh, they don't have the a plus sorry they don't have the brand story as well and this brand doesn't have uh, they don't have actually the brand story which might help you improve the conversion rate as well uh, right by you know connecting better with the target audience with your customer avatar uh, you want to also make sure that you have the brand story as well as a plus content and that they are optimized right and then you know you need to have like a decent amount of reviews so in this case we have 93 reviews and the star rating is great 4.8 stars so no problem there but you know just you just need to like if the you are like uh, facing this issue that you notice okay my conversion rate is lower way lower than the category the problem probably stems from how your uh, listing is presented and built, right? Uh, so you want to really tweak that and try to identify really and figure out where is the uh, issue or where I'm lacking uh, on the listing side of things. That's like the number one problem that we see our clients facing when they come uh, with high echoes or not a deal ad performance. So we try to fix that, uh, the listing side, right? So the second problem is that you are probably, um, you might be spending too much on ads by having your CPCs too high, right? So you know that uh, when a customer right, uh, clicks on your ad, you need to pay a certain fee uh, that is expressed uh, in a form of CPCs. So CPCs are just basically uh, what you are paying for each click when the, when the ad is being clicked, right? So when someone clicks on your ad, you pay a certain fee. So that's a CPC. And you want to understand, am I paying too much on ads, right? And how I can reduce the ad spend or like on my CPCs 
to the point where I'm still driving enough traffic to my listing, right? I'm delivering for impressions, but I can, you know, maybe uh, really minimize the ad spend and still maintain my sales. So I want to find out how I can uh, bring down my CPCs while still, uh, you know, uh, maintaining the amount of sales that I'm bringing in from advertising, right? So you want to find how you can reduce CPCs without a slump in sales. If you want, guys, uh, I'll actually leave this in the uh, description of this video. But what this uh, sheet gives you is just, uh, you know, it's just like the uh, benchmark for where you need to. It's just the benchmark for where you need to go uh, with these numbers. So all you need to do, guys, is punch these numbers. So what is your average CPC? So uh, let's say it's, uh, you know, we got $1 and two cents. So I'm gonna put it in this uh, cell. Now average conversion rate, what you can do is do the same thing. So you can go either to brand metrics to find your conversion rate like the total conversion rate for your for your advertising or what you can do is pick the time range right and you want to select orders and you want to select clicks right and now we want to pull up the calculator and uh, you know divide orders by clicks and that's going to give us the conversion rate. So as you can see, and you want to like uh, multiply the whole number by 100, right? So we got uh, 8.95% uh, conversion rate. So let's just put it right there. Okay, now what is our uh, average order value? So if you have a big catalog, right? Uh, what I would do in this case, let's say I'm selling multiple products and they have like different um, price points. So first of all, you need to have like clear naming nomenclature so you can sort the data by the product, like at the product level. So let's say uh, I want to look only at this product data. Okay, so 6.66%. Let's go back to right here and put in 6.66%. All right, and then we got average order value. So this product Again, we can easily find the average order value for this product. So you, you take the, the sales. So let's see the sales, right? Yeah, uh, let's choose sales. And what you do is uh, you divide the amount, like the sales uh, by orders, and then you get like uh, the average order value. So in this case, it's around $37. So let's put it in our sheet. Okay. And then we got current echoes. Uh, let's uh, actually take a look right here. Current echoes are uh, almost 54%. So let's do, let's round that and put in 54%. Put in the target echoes. So let's say I'm striving or I'm shooting for 30% echoes. I want to bring down my echoes or take it from 54% to 30%. And now what this sheet uh, gives you, it provides you with the, with the goal, right? For this metric. So either you need to raise the conversion rate from this uh, number to 12%, or you need to like uh, reduce the cost per click to 57% to arrive at that target egos number. So that's the key here. Now you want to basically find the balance. Ideally you want to balance these numbers out and you need to like strike a new balance uh, between how much you are spending on ads, but also improving the conversion rate at the same time uh, simultaneously, right? So it has to be done in tandem, right? Uh, in conjunction, this method. Uh, so you need to uh, do these two things. Figure out how you can improve the conversion rate, right? While, uh, you know, reducing your CPC. And you want to like, you know, connect these two things together because that's going to be more effective. It's not really, uh, you know, it's going to be harder for you to 
achieve this conversion rate. Versus if you improve the conversion rate slightly, maybe to 9%, but then you can like bring CPC down to, I don't know, maybe 80%, sorry, 80 cents, right? And this should be something that is going to allow you to achieve your target egos. This is the thing, right? Uh, there's the cause, right? You want to find out what is the underlying cause that your ad performance is not it's not good, it's not effective, and then you want to uh, find and really uh, implement the actions which will allow you to achieve your target takers. So either I'm tweaking my listing, uh, you know, trying to improve the conversion rate, bump this number up, or I am tinkering with my ads, I am pulling out different reports, and I'm looking at my keywords to I'm, lo I'm looking at my keywords where I can reduce CPCs so I'm paying less per click, right? So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you want, guys, uh, uh, grab the sheet. I'll leave it uh, right below this video. So, yeah, just use the sheet. Uh, take it and use it for yourself, for your Amazon business. Uh, and, yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you want me to help you out with, uh, you know, uh, growing your Amazon brand, I actually run an Amazon PPC agency, so you can either go to LinkedIn and get in touch with me just through LinkedIn, right? So yeah, this is my LinkedIn, or you can go to our website, uh, Digit Fruition. You can also ask for a free Amazon PPC audit. Uh, we'll just, you know, analyze your ad account and give you uh, like our uh, take on your advertising, give you the findings and share actionable steps that you can implement to your Amazon business to, you know, grow your sales and uh, improve the ROI from advertising. Hopefully this was valuable and you learned something from this video about how to run uh, better advertising and understand why ACOs are not ideal, why they're so high, right, and how you can fix that. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, guys.